Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, what it do? So it is currently 2.40 p.m. on January the 19th. It's a Thursday and I got a four day weekend. I don't go back to work until Monday. And I got some stuff planned um, these next few days. So I thought I would pick up the camera and shoot. Um, I started my period like last night, so I've been in bed all day because I've been cramping. But I've been watching this show that I found on Netflix. It came out in 2019. It's a limited series. And I don't know if y'all know anything about limited series on Netflix, but they're all always so freaking good. Like Behind Her Eyes, uh, The Devil in Ohio just to name a few like they're all so good um and so far this 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 show is really good like it's about people who woke up stranded on the island they ain't know their names or nothing they don't even know why they're there they are while why they are there so good but y'all i haven't had anything to eat today all i did my hair looks a mess all I did was make some coffee. So I just been drinking on coffee all day. Um, so I think I'm about to make me some chicken nuggets. I think I might cook dinner tonight. I probably won't cook. I'll probably like eat something frozen and just like heat it up. But I think I'm going to heat up some chicken nuggets right now. Some heart shaped chicken nuggets that I found at the grocery store. Very childish, but it's Valentine's Day season. And then I got some packages. So um, like after I eat and stuff, I'm going to come back and open my packages. I have a Shein package that has like my Valentine's Day dress in it and some shoes and stuff. And then I got a package from Dossier. And Dossier not dossier from dossier and no this video is not sponsored i tried to get them to send some stuff but apparently they don't think i'm good enough to work with them and that's okay like that's one of my dream like collaborations right now like i would love to like partner with them but they don't think your girl got what it takes yet so that's fine i just spent my own little coins and bought some stuff from them um, and I got more packages on the way uh, this weekend. So, yeah, we just going to do a little collective vlog. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to a basketball game. After I go to the basketball game, we're supposed to be going to get dinner and drinks. So, that's something. I got a little movie date planned with my bestie on Saturday. And then Sunday is the anniversary of my little brother passing. It'll be 11 years so freaking long but it still feels like very fresh um y'all know how grief go um we might go get some lunch and go visit his grave site on sunday so just a little chill vlog i got the next four days off so i might as well make a count you know we not getting a four-day weekend no time soon after this so yeah, stay tuned and I will pick up the camera after I eat some food, okay? Alright y'all, so I got me some heart-shaped nuggets and they are big. Like, it's it's giving, I could have just made a six-piece. I made a ten-piece because, you know, ten-piece nugget, period. And I'm going to continue watching my little show and yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I just finished watching The Island. It is now, what time is it? 6.03 p.m. I'm just now finishing up the season. It was so good. So I'm not going to tell too much, but it was good, and y'all should go watch it. Um, so now I'm going to try on this dress. Um, so in my Shein package, I got the dress, I got the shoes, and I got some jewelry, um, just like literally my Valentine's Day outfit. I got this like matching necklace and anklet. Then I got a bracelet that I thought was the same, but it's not. Well, actually, this is the anklet. The bracelet is not the same though. It's like little hearts. It's like... like little hearts 
Then I got a dress. And then I got some silver shoes. Y'all, I'm not a big heel wearer. But if there's ever a situation where I need to wear heels, I like to be comfortable. So, I just got these cute, like, silver mules. And I already tried them on. They're super comfortable. So, I'm about to try the dress on and show y'all. Hopefully, it looks okay. Or else, I'm going to have to buy something else. But, I'm going to try the dress on and I'll be back after I put it on. Okay, guys. So, she's definitely going to need boob tape. She's definitely going to need boob tape. Please excuse my lamp that's turned over and my shoebox that's in the back. But, please don't mind this also because... I'm on my period, so I'm a little bloated. But essentially, this is a cute date night dress. I'm definitely going to need some boob tape so I can cover it up a little more. But she's giving. She and did what they needed to do. I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to open my package from Dossier. Um, I just sent my best friend a picture of my dress she liked it um i'm waiting on my college my college besties for them to answer the text message so i can show them and i also sent it to my boo because obviously i want him i want his opinion because like if he don't like the dress i don't want him to show up to our dinner reservation and be like what the fuck you got on you know what i'm saying i don't think he would not like the dress but you know okay so y'all I ordered four fragrances. I did not know they were going to come in individual boxes. That's so cute. So what did I get? I got Ambery Vanilla. This is supposed to be the same as YSL Black Opium. Black Opium is like a timeless scent. Like everybody loves Black Opium. Just about everybody. Um, I got Fruity Magnolia, which smells like Versace Bright Crystal. And if anybody knows me, that's the perfume that I wear all the time. Like, I have the real Versace Bright Crystal. So, I wanted to get this one just so I can see if it really smells like the dupes. Because I know for a fact, like, what that smells like. So, I got that one. I'm going to put this one right here. Because that's the one I'm going to smell first. Um, I got... Ambery Saffron, which is supposed to smell like Baccarat Rouge. Everybody loves Baccarat. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I got Citrus Green Apple, which is supposed to smell like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So let's start with the one that is supposed to smell like bright Versace Bright Crystal. And it's called Fruity Magnolia. And y'all, you get a lot of perfume for the price, honestly. Like, look at the size of it. Y'all, this smells exactly like Versace Bright Crystal. That's insane. Y'all, it's identical. It's literally identical. This literally is Versace Bright Crystal. That's crazy. This is Ambery Saffron. And this is supposed to smell like Baccarat. I should be spraying these on myself, but I don't want to smell like all these different scents because they might not mesh well together. That smells so good. Mm. It's such a subtle scent. Like, it don't do too much. I like it. I like that. This one is Citrus Green Apple. And again, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I don't think I'm going to like this. It don't smell good just smelling it like that. Okay, that's not bad. It smell weird when you just smell it in the bottle, but it don't. It definitely gives citrus green apple. But like, not childish. Not like, not like I'm gonna smell like a Jolly Rancher. Like, but I can smell it. 
And then last but not least, we have Amber Vanilla. It's supposed to smell like YSL Black Opium. And bruh, first of all, I love anything with patchouli in it. That is my favorite, like, essential oil. I freaking, god damn, they put this shit in here so fucking. Why did I shake it? I don't know, bruh. It's too many smells going on. Mm. This is such a grown scent. Like, this gives grown. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, January the 20th. Um, and it is currently like 8 in the morning, maybe like 8.30. 8.53. <laughs> Um, I just made me some coffee and then probably going to hop in the shower and, um, like wet my hair so I can put a wig on for later so I can do my hair. But yeah, I will be back. So y'all, um, I just finished my interview and then I don't know, something just made me want to go back on the company website and do some research the company is legit but i'm pretty sure the person that emailed me is not who they say they are so i think i was just scammed luckily i didn't give away like any information like i was just going through the in the interview process to see like you know if the job was a good fit for me and yeah i'm pretty sure because the person who emailed me um and helped conduct my interview she is um like she does work for the company but i'm pretty sure the person who messaged me is not her you know what i'm saying i think they're like impersonating which is cool um i just messaged the person on LinkedIn um because her LinkedIn was attached to the website and like I messaged her and I was like hey I could just be being paranoid but I got an email xyz went through the interview process and I'm not sure if it's you so I'm covering my ass pretty much because I don't want to accept the job and it's a fucking scam like I'm not trying to do that so um sent a message hopefully I'll hear something soon the lady who conducted my interview, she told me I'd find out Monday um, if I got the job, which I don't even think there's a job to get, babe. <laughs> you know what? Like, it's life. Uh, I've been looking for a second data entry job because, like, my first job, I am on the phones. So I would like another job that I can work at the house but not have to be on the phones. And work both simultaneously because like it can be done like it absolutely can be done so that's what i was really excited about because it was a data entry position um that's okay i'm gonna just keep looking until i find one um but yeah it's disappointing i'm saying it's disappointing because like i don't know i just like to prepare for the worst and i do think it was a scam so sucks to suck but whatever <laughs> Y'all, I wasn't going to come back until later, but I just had to come back and tell y'all that I just got an email that I have reached 90,000 views on YouTube. 90,000 times you guys have watched my content. In retrospect, like from the outside looking in, like a lot of people try to discourage us as small like content creators. Like people don't think like this is actually like a source of income. Like this is actually like a real career. So like as a small content creator, people see us post videos on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and they like, oh, look at that. Look, like I've seen so many posts from like people like from my like city or people from like regular people from other cities. Like they'll post like, I hate seeing people from my city post TikToks, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bruh, like, 
a lot of us are really out here making names for ourselves like anybody can try to downplay this shit all they want to but y'all 90,000 people have watched my videos like you can't downplay that 90,000 times people have sat in front of a computer, an iPad, a tablet, a phone and clicked on my content and chose to watch it. Like that is huge. That 90,000 times might not have been 90,000 different people, but 90,000 times somebody has sat in front of a device and watched my shit. And that is huge. Like... <sighs> Like, y'all, that is so fucking huge to me. And I just wanted to come on here from the bottom of my heart and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so freaking much for tuning into my channel. Like, I really freaking appreciate it, like, so much. But, like, yeah, I don't want this video to be all just me talking. So, I'm going to pick up the camera later when I get ready. because it is kind of dark in here but i have finished getting dressed i am going to insert a reel i think did i do a reel i did do a reel. <laughs> i'm gonna insert a reel i did a little get ready with me dressed they said they don't fuck with me but i said they can't like, fuck with I me i wanted to do a reel they so showed the a fuck can't with me get ready with me type shit I'm going to link it on the side. But yeah, I'm about to go to the basketball game. So I will pick my camera back up when I get there. You never seen it. So get it shouty. We parking like pimping in my tongue. And I know what you want. shooting a makeup video for this makeup look i am about to go to the movies it is saturday january the 21st um i haven't picked up my camera since last night when i was at dinner with my mom my best friend and her mom but yeah i'm about to go to the movies we are about to go see missing so i will see you guys when i get there okay friends this is a bad angle but whatever before i get to the movies I got another package today from Dossier. I had ordered another one. It's aromatic pineapple and I got it because it was pineapple and I love pineapple, but it's actually a mint, a mint scent. So I'm gonna smell it and see if it smells manly. And if it does, then if it smells manly and it smells good, I'm gonna just give it to my boo for Valentine's Day. But if it don't smell too manly, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Um, dang, it is bergamot, ginger, pineapple, clary sage, geranium, juniper berry, amberwood, cedarwood, and olibanum. And it's supposed to smell like YSLY. I hate when I get perfume on my hand. 
first of all that does smell really good but it smells like um, it does smell like a man so i'm gonna have to give it to him but that smells really good that smells that smells good so he watches my video so boo when you see this just act surprised when you get it but wow that smells really good I wish it didn't smell so manly. I would keep it for myself, but I'm going to just go ahead, put this back in the box, and set it in his little Valentine's Day basket. Okay, now I'll see you, you guys when I get to the movies. Hey, friends. I am just getting back from the movies. Um, Missing was so good. So, so good. I'm at McDonald's. I'm about to eat dinner. And it's still early. It's like 9.40. And I don't have to work tomorrow. So, I don't have to. I don't got to go to sleep right now. So, I'm about to eat my food. Take off my makeup. And probably watch Riverdale. And I did a makeup look a youtube video on this look so i think i might edit that this vlog is supposed to go up before this video per my planning calendar but i might put the makeup video out first since my last video was a vlog so i don't just overload y'all with vlogs but i don't know yet um i'm gonna say bye and thank y'all for watching this vlog just in case i don't pick up the camera tomorrow because i don't know if i'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow i don't know we'll see We'll see.